Hey everybody, if you want to achieve this peachy taupey look for the spring, keep watching! So we're going to prep and prime with Painted Earth with the Vitamin C Face Lotion and Earth Oil. This thing is awesome. And now Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Dip in the light and I am going to add a couple drops of my Earth Oil into it so I, because it's a little dry, you know, this dip, the couple times I bought it, it gets dry very easily. But I say it's the best. And I am using a angled brush by Morphe and I'm doing, I usually do the outer part of my eyebrows and then the inner and then I use a spoolie to fill in the thicker part of my eyebrow so it doesn't look too dark in the outer part and then fill it in with the spoolie and make it look faded out. And my favorite Lancome 24 hour foundation. This is my favorite of all time of foundations. And I am going to clean up my eyebrows. I don't use a concealer because I don't know. I like it like this. You just clean up your eyebrows on both eyebrows and have it nice for your foundation and your eye look. Alright, so one side I'm going to do a flat foundation brush and the other side I'm going to do this silly sponge. I'm going to try this out and see how I like it. And I grab a little bit of product and pat it in and then you swipe as well. Um, not a big fan of it, but it does the job. It wasn't streaky or anything. It's just I uh, wasn't used to this sponge or silicone. But I will keep grabbing my foundation brush. I'm not a big fan of sponges either. I just feel they grab too much product and it's just a waste and harder to clean. In my opinion, I don't know. You guys tell me what's your favorite sponge. But I give uh, one thumbs up. <laughs> no joke intended in there. Okay, from the Tardius Pro Palette, we're going to use Classic all over the lid and the brow to the brow. Right next to Classic is Innocent and we're going to use that and we are going to blend it inwards from the crease into your inner eye. Okay, while I struggle here, I want to go all the way to the bottom and get edgy, that really rich brown color. And we're going to use that in the outer part of your eye. I think I'm looking for a blending brush there. Small blending brush so we can use darker colors with it and not get our eye makeup looking muddy. Because, you know, we want to 
blend but not blend them all together in the outer corner of your eye and blend that in circular motions into our glam palette from Morphe, the 35B. So now I'm going to this peachy color in the third row, third across. And I am gonna get, I believe it's a Morphe flat brush. And I'm gonna go right in the middle of my eyelid so it could pop out with some nice peach tones and all those brown taupey colors will look so pretty together and now with a clean blending brush I will blend it together Right there, I did go back into Innocent and blend a little bit more so it could look very nice. Okay, I am going in to Innocent and Blending and also into Classic to blend that out so it could look very clean and nice with the harsh lines and harsh colors not blending together. Take your time. If all gonna come out really really cute. Super cute. On the inner corner of the eyes I have the eyes on the prize eyeshadow chubby from flower. On top of the the crayon, I am gonna put a nude color from 35B Morphe palette. Is the second one down in the first row, showing you right there. Add some mascara and some eyeliner, and you are good to go. Um, 
I will put the lip information, highlight information, face information below. And thank you for watching. Hey guys, so I wanted to show you guys on better lighting and camera how it looks. Thank you guys for watching. I really like this look. Subscribe and like my videos. Thank you.